Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing a haul video of stuff that came from the St. Louis bins on this past trip that we just did in March. Lots of plush in this bag and I do have some smalls that I've laid out here to share with you. Um, a lot of this stuff for some reason seems to be dirty so a lot of this is going to be going straight upstairs to get washed. But let me get started on this then. We'll just start with the Gund. This is Gund Nayla. Cute little dog. I don't think I've sold this particular one before, but this is usually like $10 to $15. I just love this. Probably, probably still going to be, you know, like the $12 or so. But look at the detail of her face. She is Cuddle Wit. Well, that's a surprise. I like Cuddle Wit. Not sure if all of her hair should have been all strung out like this. But I'm, I'm hoping like $12 to $15 for her, but we'll see. This also, let's see. No, this is actually Russ Yomika Classics. If you've ever listed Russ stuff on um, eBay, when you go to the Russ stuffed animal category, then it'll go um, Russ, others, um, Yomika is one of them, and then there's another one. I can't remember what it is right now, but this is going to be the one that goes under the Yomika. Yomiko, I'm trying to see, Yomiko Classics. Her name is Eva. Looks like it's a little, um, like a Siamese cat or something. Probably still like my 8 to $10. I like those because those just seem, the auroras and the rust that are like that small, they tend to move quite quickly for me because it's just something that a lot of children like to hold on to that and then the parent ends up looking for a backup. Rodney Reindeer, this is from Hallmark. I think Wendy's had some that came out also. I do really well with these. This one has a lot more wear. So instead of listing this for like 15 to 20 dollars i'll probably list it for 9.95 and somebody who's just wanting it and doesn't care that it's got a lot of this peeling or fuzz balls on it um, may go ahead and pick it up this is walmart love walmart just a cute little dinosaur probably again eight to twelve dollars but it needs a bath this one also is walmart Somebody took a little purple marker to it. So it's going to need a bath. I think that will come off easily. And I just, I love this. It's just a nice, I like the texture of this fabric. Again, eight to $12. This is Sweet Dreams by Russ. Cute rattle. You know me, I love my rattle plush. Again, it's going to need a bath also. It's not overly bad. It'll come clean. It's just got a few, like, finger marks. And usually, if I've got to try to clean a couple of spots, I might as well just throw it in the washing machine and let it let it go. Probably still 8 to $10. This again, another, I have a whole lot of rust in this. This is Schubert by Russ. Probably 8 to $12. I don't know who it is. You don't you're know you're either? I'm going to guess. Of course I know. I have no clue. Some of the greatest quarterbacks I've ever played have played there. I don't even know John if it's... John Elway, Peyton Manning played there in his later years. It's the Denver Broncos. That doesn't even... Oh, okay. It, and it's a horse, right? Right. See, it's the Denver Bronco. It says decoration purpose only, not a toy. That's you've, odd. You've probably only been to two football games in your entire life, right? I went... When my ship pulled into... I was on a ship in the Navy. When we pulled into Seattle, we went to a game there. I can't even tell you the name of the team. Seattle Seahawks. Yes, we went to that. And I've been to maybe some uh, University of Hawaii football I games. I drove off to a couple of Mizzou games. Oh, yes. He did. He did. And look, 
I was so impressed with it, I've forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Ow. It's right in the heart. It was funny, though, because I'm here in Tennessee. I've been here since 1997, so when Mizzou finally came to the SEC, we went to one of the first games when it was here. So I had to wear a University of Tennessee shirt. And then, of course, he wore his Mizzou shirt. And we got so many comments about, I'd hate to be going home with you two tonight. But... To be honest, I didn't care who won. <laughs> Mizzou won in three overtimes. Yes, and then we went to the championship down in Atlanta. Yep, watched, them get, watched them get thumped by Alabama and Auburn. Yep. But those were good times. It was fun. Would I do it again? It's too cold and I'm too old. This is Build-A-Bear. I've not had this. Look how cute this is. Doubt it's a bolo, but wouldn't it be fun if it was? Cute little camel. I'll put comps up here, like always, if I can find something. At first, I thought this was Build-A-Bear, but it's not. This is the petting zoo. I'll Google lens this to find out what the name the, of this type of penguin is, you know, Empire or whatever it is, and that way I'll make sure I classify that this is a nice size. It's probably over 12 inches, so maybe 12 to 15. I pick up all of the bullseyes plush that I can find. Sometimes I put them in lots, but a lot of times there's collectors out there for, this is the, if you don't know, the Target um, mascot. And he's got the bullseye on his eye. A lot of times though, I list them for like eight to $10 and they don't last very long. This one's cute. This is Build-A-Bear Chipettes from Alvin and the Chipmunks. I've done well with these, but you know, again, it's one of those things, maybe like when a movie's getting ready to come out or it just came out, they do better. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't had one of these in a while, but I'm hoping maybe $15 for her. This is Russ, but I'm thinking the tag's gone, but you can tell because right there, the little tag on his ear one of the Christmas reindeer. Sometimes these are the different ones. I don't remember. I don't think this is Rudolph, but I could be wrong. But cute. Again, I've, I've had this before, and I think it was probably like in the $8 to $10 range. But it's cute. Love this. Look how cute. This is Animal Adventure 2015. I'm hoping maybe $15 to $20, but sometimes these surprise me and they're worth a whole lot more. Um, the older the dates are on these, of course, the harder they are to find. And sometimes people are looking for this specific lamb and hopefully, you know, I'll have it listed. There's a couple of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer plush. This one does work. Um, it plays music and his little nose lights up. Let's see if there's a brand. I want to say usually these are like kids preferred. Yeah, 2014. And then, of course, the Abominable Snowman. He is Dan D. I won't make these a lot. I'll keep them separate. Um, I'm hoping maybe $10 to $15 for him also. I don't think he does anything. No. And then this, this intrigued me. The tag has been cut. It's funny, it says Missouri right here on the bottom. Must be where whoever manufactured is from Missouri. Just a big old elephant. Very plush, very full, but it has like a storage space back here. So maybe like a pajama bag slash pillow. I don't know if he'd make a good pillow though but cute. All right, I'm going to show you some of the littles. This said Trend Lab on it. Not sure. Just a cute little striped plush dog. This is Fisher Price Laugh and Learn. I don't pick up a whole lot of these. You see the puppies everywhere. Everywhere. And I tell Robert, no puppies, no laugh and learn puppies, and he forever puts them in the cart just to antagonize me, and then out it goes. There are just too many of them out there. 
if I think of it, I'll put a comp here, but I don't even think they're worth very much. This is a rock and record um, microphone. Of course, I'll need to test it. It did play some music, but I gotta figure out what it's really supposed to do. But I think these were like 12 to $15. One of these days, one of those dogs is gonna get left in the cart and we're gonna pay for it. I and know. You're gonna, and you're gonna wanna like, thump my head when and we I'll, find it. It'll be over in the booth. Over in the booth. I've had some comments because I mentioned the booth all the time. I'm probably going to try to take you guys over there and do a video this week. I need to go, you know, ante up as far as paying booth rent and all of that. So I'll. She said you made it though. Well, yeah, I've made booth rent this month, so hopefully she'll be giving me a check. But I'm going to go over there. I checked on it today, and I I've got space to put some more stuff over there, which is good. It's a new place, and I guess some of the other vendors aren't making their booth rent. And that once they get there, um, they get more traffic in the store once people are accustomed to them being there, that hopefully everybody will be making booth rent and then we'll be making more than 20 or $30 a month like it has been because it's been kind of good. I think in December, which was our first month there, we made like $80 above and beyond booth rent. But, you know, that was Christmas and it was a lot of toys because if something doesn't, if I decide I don't want to take something, put it on eBay, um, I take it to the booth and I put a couple of bucks on it. Um, and it, my booth's been quite popular. And so I'm hoping that this is a good way um, for me to just not redonate um, because a lot of the places around here do not want stuffed animals. And of course I have a lot um, and they're, they're good. You know, I don't take stuff over there that has major issues with it. That stuff just goes in the garbage. But a lot of times, there's, it's just something I've decided I don't want to put on eBay. And the problem is, is that they do get, they do take plush when it comes in. Because we buy it there yeah. two or three at a time. But when you take three garbage bags three garbage plush, bags like, full. we don't want it. Right. And I'm doing really well with it over there. Just keeping it at a dollar or two, which is still more than probably what I paid for it. And, you know, they're getting a really good deal and I'm getting my money back. So it works for me. Fisher Price Veggie Tails. This one has the little rattle eyes. I do really well with these and I do not lock them together. A lot of times if you can find like the Madame Blueberry or some of the other characters that talk, those are really good. He needs a bath, but more, I'm hoping like eight to $10 for him. I'm always looking for these. And it was funny, while we were there, I saw somebody had a couple of these in their cart. And I was like, aw. But it's okay. But these are from, of course, Land Before Time. I'm pretty sure they were from Pizza Hut. Um, they're little hand puppets. Just love them. But I usually can get like $10 to $15 for each one. So, and this stuff right here... A lot of times it has it on this, but this just comes off really well with easy um, alcohol. Some more littles. These are Peppa Pig. Just I'll probably put these together because they're kind of the same. Just not the they're just the hard plastic. I may have more, so I'm gonna set them aside at first. We went back and forth on this. I thought this was like that. Bad luck schlep rock from Flintstones, but come to find out, Robert was right. What was his name again? Captain Caveman. Captain Caveman from Hanna Barbera. And when she says we went back and forth, she went back and forth on the wrong answer because I told her who it was right off the bat. <laughs> no, but when I Google lensed him, then it was saying Scooby Doo. So that's why I kept saying, Are you sure that he's his own character? And he was like, Yes. I don't remember him. But again, I grew up in Europe, and we didn't watch this kind of stuff. All right. Just more of the smalls. This is Blaze and the Monster Machine. I do really well with these. I just sold, like, one of the little die-cast cards for quite a bit. I want to say, like, 30 bucks or so. This one's going to make sounds. It doesn't have batteries or working batteries right now. I'm hoping maybe 12 to 15 for the larger vehicle. Then, Little Tyke's Dollhouse. This is the father. This is the problem with them when they're older and they've been used. Yeah. See, the paint's gone on his face. Especially his mouth is very faded. 
but collectors of these are not going to care. A lot of times they'll redo them if they, you know, are wanting it for a display or something. But definitely love them. Somebody else while we were there, um, Robert was talking to her and she asked him if he knew what this was that she had picked up. And he said, no, but I bet you my wife does. And then we ran into her before we left and she showed me she had a whole bunch of the the uh, little Tykes dollhouse people. She had the grandparents, so I told her she did she 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 did she did well with that find. More littles. These are Paw Patrol. I always pick them up, especially these more unique ones. See him? He's just this is rubble. I'm not sure. I don't think he's supposed to light up or anything because I'm not seeing a battery area for him. But more than likely, he'll go separate. I do have another odd um, Marshall. So if they're from the same series, I may put them together. But I have a pile going over there of Paw Patrols and PJ Masks and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm not sure about her, but this is Imaginext. Definitely always keep your eye out for them. I buy them and then I set them aside like a whole lot of other littles. And then when I get a certain amount of them, I'll go ahead and make um, listings of just a small lot. You know, any, like $19.95, $24.95, depending on how many I end up with. And I don't even try to group them by Marvel or the Pirates, the, the Knights, any of that. I just make lots. No, she does not try to stay true to the universe, and it probably freaks a bunch of people out when they're shopping. They'll be all right. I don't know. Have you met some of these nerds? <laughs> and I'm one of them, so that's not an insult to anybody unless I'm insulting myself, too. <laughs> Fisher Price Little People. Of course, I found some more of the Disney. I've already sold the first one like this. I put him with a popcorn stand that came with that set and this little... Um, Mouseketeer with a Donald Duck hat on it. And I think I sold it for like 40 to $50. So definitely keep your eyes open for the Little People Disney. More wheelies. Oh, let me tell you about wheelies. I went to list something the other day and I had like five of these together in a lot. And I don't know if there was some kind of camera recognition, but all of a sudden I got a warning that said that something had been recalled. Don't ignore that. I know Courtney from Bolo Buddies has put out a video about this because it happened to her with a doll. So I went and looked. I went to Google and I put in Fisher Price Willie's Recall. Willie's is spelled W-H-E-E-L-I-E-S in case my southern twang is confusing you on what I'm saying. And sure enough, there is a speedway, and one of the vehicles in my lot was one of the recalled vehicles for that playset. So definitely when it pops up, go check. Just put in your basic keywords and say recall, and make sure your item isn't on the recall list. But that just reminded me. I'm, I've already listed the others that were in that lot, and I have just threw that one away. And so I'm going to start another lot of them. And then this is... Oh, no, I have one over there. I'll see if I had one of these. This is Fisher-Price Little People also. This is one of the bendables. I don't think they were very popular. They didn't last very long. But these are not... I'll have to put probably two or three or four of them together in a lot. Um, they're just not that popular. But I will pick them up. And then these, these are also Fisher Price Little People. Um, they're called, I think, Clippity Clops, but it's spelled with a K. These were a lot of these are the Disney Princess. They went to certain sets, um, but they would go down and they would make this Clippity Clop sound like a horse. I do really well with these. And, and a lot of times these sell on Facebook Marketplace for me, although nothing is selling on Facebook Marketplace right now. Um, but usually I list these still like five to eight dollars depending on which character it is but you know i probably paid five cents for it so i'm good with getting five dollars for that all right back to some of the plush loveys always 
This one is no tag, but it does say mommy loves me and I'll probably be able to Google lens this and get who the manufacturer is. A lot of times the loveys are like 10, 15, maybe $20 for me, but every once in a while I find something that's 30, 40, 50, 60. So always check the comps on loveys. Yay. Minecraft, large plush. I It needs a bath desperately. I, I know I have sold like the large green one. What was his? Creeper. Creeper. But, you know, some of these Minecraft plush do really, really well. So just definitely check the comps on this. No clue. I'll put a comp here because I have no idea on it. Just some more. This one is Walmart. A lot of these I list 8 to 12. This one is Aurora. Same thing. Unicorn. Ooh, I have two of you. These are cute. Care Bears. They're more contemporary. I think this one's like early 2000s maybe. Yeah, 2003. This one's probably even more. Basic Fun, 2021. But how cute. They both need a bath. Probably, I'm thinking, you know, 10 to $15 maybe. So I had to look up your Minecraft sheet plush. And somebody had the 18, the, the 16 inch, which I think that is, for $18, brand new, free shipping. But, you know, sometimes people put crazy prices on there and they do them really cheap instead of what the, the going rate is but I'm bringing this up to point out that there was a, a Minecraft purple sheep Mojang Jinx it's an 11 inch long 9 inch tall it's purple it's $50 with free shipping and that's used so right. look for the purple one definitely look for the purple and, and, we'll... and the black one the black one's 20 but yeah I don't always trust the prices and I know Courtney from Bolo Buddies has said this also a lot of times, if there's just a few or one and the price just doesn't seem right, I'm going to put my price where I feel it should be and I'll just let them sell out and then I'll be the next one. I'm okay with that because I swear I see people who sell their stuffed animals for $1.99 on eBay. I just don't get that. Right. Especially when there's others that are selling it for $19.99 or $29.99. Here's a different Minecraft large sheep, $20.00. Plus shipping used. So And that's probably where I think it's it needs to be. Fifteen to twenty dollars plus shipping. And here's fifteen dollars. Yep. Next, this is Mary Myers. I have talked about this before. These are called the flip flops. Some of them do really well. Probably about fifteen to twenty dollars on average for most of them. You will see this kind of tag on them, but a lot of times they're cut off. Um, yeah, I didn't have it upside down, but they're always these floppy and they have beans in their bottom and there's all kinds of animals. I'll try to put a few comps here of some of the, the ones to really look for. And that may be one. I'm not sure. Vintage plush. This is, it says Harton International, but you can just tell. I'm trying to see if there's a tag. I mean, a date. I'm not, I mean, it's made in China, but you can just tell. How cute is that? Probably still my $9.95. If, if you've looked in my store, everything is $95. $4.95, $10.95. Just, that's how I do it. Except Everybody has their, except for clothes. I had to be a weirdo. Yes. He sets the, well, I set the price, but he wanted everything to end in 68. So. Oh, it was 87. No, 68. Oh, yes. Which. Yes. All right, this is Disney Mulan Little Bean Plush. These Most of these don't go for a whole lot. Probably 6 to $8. But she's, well, I was going to say she's clean, but no, she's got a couple spots. Love this, but it has issues. These are, I don't know if it has its tag to figure out. These are the Beanstalk Group, Kids View, but they're called the T-Bunnies. 
this is the first time I've had a plush. I've had the little plastic figures and they have like a little hat that comes off of them. Love them, but again, they're not big time sellers, but there are collectors for them. But this one, I'm gonna try to get close. It's got some mildew on there and here on the back. So it's probably got wet at some point, but what I'm gonna do is very carefully use a little um, cleaner that has bleach in it, you know, laundry cleaner, spot stuff. And I'll just very gently put it on here, let it set for a few minutes and then throw it in the wash. And hopefully it'll get that out because otherwise it seems to be in relatively good condition. I think these are about 20 to $30. So it's worth the effort for me to try to get the little spots out of it. Thomas, I love Thomas, especially the wooden trains. Just love them. This is Gund 2006. It's, again, needs a bath too. Um, I don't know if it was supposed to do anything. I don't know. But I'll have a comp here because this is the first time I've picked that up. I thought this was cute. I like wildlife artists. They're just very realistic plush. This is some kind of fish. I will use Google Lens to identify it. Um, I think I had a couple of these, so they're probably in other bags. I'm gonna go largemouth bass. Probably, just because of the large mouth. And the spotting on the side. Oh, I don't know all that. This, I'm gonna try to get it cleaned. Look, on the front's not as bad, but look here. I think it looks like it's just been drug over like dirty floors. But this brand is Apple Park. I have found a couple of things like Lovies and stuff that have done really well, like over $20. So we'll see. They almost always have this little heart, oh not heart, an apple on its bottom. But we'll see. But I think this is gonna come clean. I will use my, um, cleaning stick thingy. What's it called? Your speed stick? He calls it a speed stick. Sh uh, shout. Looks like deodorant. Yeah. And I'll pre-treat this and hopefully I can get these stains off of it. But definitely a brand to look for. I think this looks like Kelly toy. Nope. Walmart. Love it. Just kind of got this rainbow tail going on here probably $12 or so. I think this, I, this is from, looks very much like the one from Bass Pro Shops. Could be. A lot of wildlife artist stuff is in, in conjunction with Bass Pro. I've got, I've, re, I've had deer and some other things from there. I lived here. San Diego Padres. Very cute. Yeah, it's one of the hanging monkeys just cute i don't know i think it's under that forever no foco my son was stationed out there also he was in the marines and he's a big fan so i might get a i might get a message on facebook save that for me <laughs> all right this I haven't checked comps on this. This is newer though. I talk about the puppy surprises on occasion. Um, this is one of the newer ones. It's by 2016 Just Play. A lot of times if you see these, you know, they're about almost always this size. The mama always has a hard face and then the body's soft. Make sure always that you open up the bottom to see if there's babies. And this one did have babies. So, let's see. Yeah, this one had two. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three, sometimes there's four. But very good when you can find them. If it's just the mama, unless it's something unique, I just leave them. But if there's babies, then I'll usually grab them. But, has, no, not Hasbro, but Puppy Surprise. Love this. How cute. This needs a bath is like most of the rest. Here's the, it's Disney Parks 
Toy Story. Her name is Gabby Gabby. I didn't know it till I Google Insed it. But cute. I'm thinking 15 to 20 for her. So cute. Couple of more here. Walmart, of course. Look. Holding the baby lamb. $15 maybe? 20 Look at this. I always tell you guys, aliens. But this alien's even more special. Because he's got like rubbery spikes on his head. Probably Toy Factory. Let me look. Nope, just A and A Global Industries. No idea. I'm hoping 12 to 15, unless it's like some of the other alien stuff, and then the price will be way up there. Mother's Day and all of that stuff's around, coming around soon. This is Best Made Toys. I woof you. Love it. Probably $20, $25 is what I'll list it for. This is unique. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe petting zoo. I'm not sure. It's kind of an odd animal. I'm thinking monkey, but it just seems odd. Very cute, but the tag is completely faded. If it's petting zoo or something like that, it's probably, and it's got the beans in it, um, like $12 or so. Ooh. Another one that needs a bath. This too is Gund, Curious George, says Universal Studios. Obviously a birthday plush. It'll be easily cleaned and then I'm hoping about 12 for it also. If you guys notice, I do a whole lot. I say a lot of 10 to 12, 8 to 12 dollars because that's my bread and butter. That is my stuff that just seems to do well for me. Now I love finding the $116 Jelly Cat plush like I just sold, but you know, I will find a hundred of these plush. I've said this before. I'll find a hundred of these before I find that one plush that's over a hundred dollars. So this is, you know, this is how I pay my bills. All right, this is Spark Create Imagine. Love it. Very nice. I love the teal blues, greens. Probably still like 10 to $12. And just a couple of littles here. Happy Thanksgiving. This seasonal stuff is does quite well. Got to be careful with this type though because look, it's like stiff felt with glitter all over it. So I don't want it getting all over everything. I would think probably maybe $12 to $15 for it. And then this says Hearth Song. It says Mistletoed. And I'll just go ahead and do it. it kisses. Very cute. Needs a good little wipe down. I'm hoping like $10 for it. I love this. I think I've had it before though. It is, says Dayton Hudson. A lot of times Dayton Hudson I tends to be Target, but I'm not seeing Target written anywhere on here. But look at these long curly ears. Just adorable. Needs a bath. I'm thinking about $20, $25 for it. This I wanted to show because you'd automatically think maybe 101 Dalmatian, but it's not. It says on the tag, Silver Dollar City. And his name is Lucky, which is one of the 101 Dalmatians. But no keyword spamming, right? It's just going to be Dalmatian, Lucky, Silver Dollar City. All those types of keywords. I'm hoping about 15 for it. Another lovey. It's from the brand Maison Chic. It just seems to be like my eight to twelve dollars. But I just loved. Look at me. I got it upside down. Loved the Little Mermaid on it and just the colors. So I'm hoping still maybe twelve or so. And then this. It's missing pieces. I might try to go look and see if I can get them sold on eBay. I just had to grab it. It says Fisher Price Space Tops. 
I've never seen this before, but I'm going to try to get whatever tops goes with it, and then I'll display it up here for a little while. But that's why I love going to the bins. I, it never fails I find something that I want to end up putting on my wall for a little while. So, but very dirty. Very dirty. All right. This video has gone longer than I expected because I like to chat too much. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out. I'll see you guys on the next video, the next live. Get to work. Bye.